Hi right, guys, it's Jim again. It's another day. It's another vintage Kilo event. This time I'm in uh, Birmingham again, the Custard Factory. Um, lovely place to come and just walk around to be fair. Um, but uh, I know this one's run by a company that gets all this stuff from America. So uh, be on the lookout for you know, American football, baseball, that sort of thing. Um, I am late, it is three o'clock. Been out all day. Um, but hopefully there'll still be some stock. I know they're replenished all day, so should be all right. So uh, let's get in there and have a look. Okay, so that was another vintage kilo. Sorry for the lack of um, footage from inside. The next one I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get my GoPro sorted out and take that along for a bit more footage, so a bit more, um, Bit more entertaining than just saying hi it's me i'm going to a um vintage gala here's the forgot but apologies for that but um not as good this one i don't know well it wasn't as big for start as as the other two that i've been to this one was organized by um the vintage kilo there's my bag um it was okay but i say it was nowhere near the size of the other ones um this one was um as far as I can work out anyway, um, all stock from America. Um, and there was tons of Ralph Lauren, uh, polo shirts, shirts, things like that. I'm always wary of, of Ralph Lauren to be fair, but in hindsight, I think it's worth going just and just bagging loads of Ralph Lauren polo shirts. I checked labels on a few, I, in fact, I think I got some and they all looked absolutely fine to me. I know it's a very gray area, um, um, Ralph Lauren but these looks all fine so I think next time I go to one that's organized by this company I'm just going to fill a bag with Ralph Lauren polos because I mean you could get three or four for a kilo so they're going to owe you about three pound a piece and they should easily sell for between 12 to 15 pound no problem at all if you can get ones that are a bit um, rarer or you know stand out a bit more uh, then that's all the better so today um I got 2.9 kilos, I think, so it was £43.75, because you actually have to pay for the bag here, they're not free, so that's a bit different. So next time I go to one of theirs, I will take my own bag, then I don't have to pay 25 pounds for the bag. Um, I tried to concentrate on stuff that I know, so sporting equipment again. I looked through the denim shirts and stuff, couldn't find any brands like Wrangler and Levi's, if I did, I'd pick those up. Um, and a lot of it, so it wasn't as big, and a lot of it was dresses, and things like that and I really do not know what to look for when I'm looking at dresses. So I still do want to know um, and mostly it's mostly t-shirts I think it's all t-shirts and a couple of bolos. Um, we've got this really nice Kentucky Wildcats um, t-shirt. Um, that they are as far as I know a college uh, football team. What else have we got in here? They're all stuck together. This is um, Kings of the Court, which is the Kings, I can't think where they're from, the Kings um, National Hockey League. Um, there is a mark on that on the G, but it's not too bad and it is vintage. 2012. Is that vintage? Does that classify as vintage? I suppose it's eight years old now. Um, so that, nice t shirt there. Um, this one is the Oreos. Orillos, that's pronounced it, and it's got the uh, Macardo 13 on the back. Again, I believe, um, sorry, just got some sidetracked there with the label. It's Majestic, um, which is a very good brand to find when it's American um, things, and a nice t shirt there. Who's this one here? Carolina Panthers. That is uh, XL. I might well be keeping that because that is awesome. A lot of it, as I say, was um, college stuff. And I'm not, I don't know on college stuff, so I'm going to look out. I'm going to do a bit more research on that. Um, 2011 uh, National Conference Champions New York Giants, American football. And it's got on the back, it's got uh, the squad. So all the players that played for them. So that is nice, that. I do like that one. Who have we got here? 
NBA champions. Again, I don't know who they are. I'm not big on NBA. I like my NFL, but I'm not big on NBA or anything. But it's the 2016 NBA cha champions. I don't know who they are. The Knights, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, judging by the sword. This one is um, college football. And it is Notre Dame, which is one of the biggest um, college football teams. And it's this... The Shake Down the Thunder, 2012, and then it's got a nice print on the back. The Pride and Tradition of America, 125 years of Notre Dame football. Very nice. Let's get these two, what we got here. Um, the Rangers, they are a NHL team. I know, I don't know the player, Nash, 61. Again, another NHL one. Again, I don't know the team, I apologise, but uh, I will easily be able to find that out. It's got Larson and the set and the five on the back. I did find a lovely um, Washington Redskins, um, what are they called, jacket. You know, the ones with the different coloured, um, different coloured arms. Absolutely beautiful it was. But then I saw the mark on the arm. Gutted. And again, another one, a Chevrolet bomber jacket, which I think I've sold before. And that had a hole in. Gutted. Gutted. Trojan Volleyball. Look at like Chicago, because that, I think, is the Chicago Bears, see? So, uh, but again, nice, nice T-shirt. I'm not aware of the team, but um, it was nice. Um, this one was randomly in there. In normally American stuff, a Man United polo shirt. Really good condition. Um... XL again, and then who's this? Again, I apologise. I don't know the team. Might be the Redskins actually. That is the Redskins. Yes, and then it's got the Souls suit. Oh, I don't know what it says. And the stadium. Um, again, really nice. Chattanooga Lookouts. That's cool. <laughs> Two more. Probably getting bored by now. Alabama Crimson Tide Football. There again, a college football team. And then this one I really liked. Shame it doesn't fit me. It's New England Patriots Training Camp 2017. Um, so yeah, really nice. So there we go. Different selection of college uh, American football and uh, baseball, hockey, etc. I say I did, there was a lot of the college football stuff, um, but not for, 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 for colleges I've heard of. But I'll, I'll research that, because obviously if that does sell, then there's, a, there's an awful lot of it that this sells. T-shirts wise, I would suggest somewhere around the 12 to 15 pound mark, hopefully per T-shirt. How many did I get? One, two, three, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. Sixteen for forty-three pound. I, I, I appear confused. I know because I was sure I picked up a Ralph Lauren polo shirt. I did a USA one. I don't know where that's gone. Anyway, sixteen. Sell them for an average of fifteen pounds each. Um, what's that? Brief maths. Hundred and fifty. Oh, Two hundred odd quid. I don't know. So not too bad from 43, even after fees, postage, etc. You know, postage on a t-shirt is nothing first class large lap. Um, so not too bad, decent profit. Got absolutely soaked, but it was worth it. Um, sorry, my daughter and wife are currently looking at me. And I think they're taking photos of me. Or doing something. They're up to no good. Anyway, they're up to no good. So I shall sort that out. As always, Charlie Man is over there playing Trans Simulator on his computer set. So, yes, there we go, guys. Um, I hope that is of use to someone. It just shows the sort of thing I'm looking for um, at these vintage sales. They're dancing now. They're weirdos. Um, yeah, they're really worth going to. If you're thinking of going to one, um, you don't have to have knowledge in a specific area. Um, if you're a clothing reseller, you're obviously you're going to know some brands and stuff. Um, <laughs> go away, go on. <laughs> so there you go. 
Sorry about the interruptions. Next time I'll do it when it's just me in there because then I won't have any. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. See you later.